Did you know that the majority of beginner game devs either give up or get stuck and make little to no progress after years of trying? I'm assuming you're here because you don't want to be part of the majority. And the obvious question is why? Why do so many people fail? Well, I'm going to tell you five things that are really hurting your progression because I've just suffered through it. There's a fell voice on the air. It's Shadow Man! I'm gonna start with a simple one don't learn how to do art. If you're just starting out and maybe working on your first project, it can get quite overwhelming because you might have an idea or a theme in mind for your game, but it's going to be too much at once. At the start you should be focusing on learning how to code basic mechanics and also using your chosen game engine which is already a lot on your plate. For your first few projects I recommend completing the whole game just using square sprites or cube objects and only then if you want to go back and make your game look nice you can use free assets. There are hundreds of 2D and 3D assets online for free. I'd say only when you're feeling a bit more confident in your game making that you should go out your way to learn art if you're interested in it. Now you may have heard this before but don't make the mistake of falling into tutorial hell. Most people start out by following a tutorial for their first project which is a really good starting point because it's showing you the process of making a game. But if you're on your third or fourth project and you're still using tutorials you're probably in tutorial hell. You'll find that you can't code anything from scratch and you'll feel like you know more than you do. If you're very early on in your journey, you can prevent this just by simply keeping your game simple. For example, move player from A to B and that will complete the level. This way, you'll be able to use your knowledge and your problem solving skills to find a solution to a much simpler problem. I would advise using your game engine documentation and still watching YouTube videos but not so much tutorials but more on information that is going to help you understand the engine or the tools that you want to use. Now if you've listened to this and you've kind of realized I'm in tutorial hell. Don't worry, just apply the same principles as I mentioned and take a big step back and test yourself on simpler projects. I feel like no one talks about how important it is to debug your own work. I know sometimes it can be easy to just Google, I have this error and figure out what it is, but it's so extremely important to work it out yourself. And if you get good at debugging, you will find yourself less and less sitting there for hours and hours thinking, why the hell is this not working? And it ends up being something stupid. I'm definitely guilty of that, as I'm sure loads of you are too. I would always recommend checking your progress after adding some code to your game to see if it's working as intended. And I'd also recommend using a lot of debug.logs to give you feedback on your code. For example, if you're having an issue with the player not moving, you can go and check if the player input is being read by using debug.log, W is pressed if the player is inputting W. Then if you see the message in your console, you know it's not the input that's a problem and you can further narrow it down and then you can work it out yourself. The next thing I want to say, just to burst your bubble, stop trying to make an MMO or any big game for that matter. All it's going to do is demotivate you and leave you feeling disappointed in yourself and that's because it's too high of a goal for you if you're a beginner. The reason why you should start small is so you don't get overwhelmed and quit like most people. You wouldn't flick to the hardest equation in the textbook if you hadn't even read the basics in chapter one. And if you did, then you'd realize after a lot of time that you can't do it and you have to go back to the start anyway. And this just wastes time, so don't waste time. <laughs> if you do have a dream game that you wanna make one day, maybe base your smaller projects on little mechanics that you want in that game. In one game, maybe work on a farming system. In another project, learn how to make an inventory, etc. Then you're building up your knowledge base to ultimately achieve that. And last I want to say stop studying game development 
and just do it. Just do it! A lot of people have this irrational fear that they're gonna fail because they're not prepared enough, they're scared they're not capable, and maybe even worry that other people will look down on them for trying something like that and say you'll never be successful. Well, no one cares and no one else matters. You won't know if you're capable until you try and why you're worrying about failing something you haven't even started. Games development is definitely learned by doing and I'm not saying don't learn the theory behind it or game mathematics but you have to apply it because otherwise what have you got to show for your progress? How will you know if you've learned anything? If you want to know about my personal not so perfect game dev journey I have a recent video on that but I hope you've been able to take something from this but other than that I'll see you next time.